Do you know how to add a custom JavaScript in Power Pages? Hi, this is Priyanka Kumari from Know How Academy. So let me take one real life scenario so here you can understand that how to add a custom JavaScript in Power Pages. So I can take one website and that website name is photography website. In that website there is one form that is a photography challenge entry form. In that form you have to design that form that your website look attractive and interactive from the user experience. From I can already create or we can say I can already design one form by using custom JavaScript in Power Pages and here you can see that form looks so attractive. This button looks so beautiful. So let me show you that how you can design that form by using custom JavaScript in Power Pages. So here you can see I can already create blank website. In that website there is only one page that is home. For now I can uh, choose a form to show you that how your form looks before adding the custom JavaScript. For now we click on form and uh, for now I already created photography challenge entry form so let me click on this. And here you can see my form can be appear in the website. So now let me preview this that how this form look in a website. So let me preview this, click on desktop. So here you can see our form can be appear in a website but this form is not look so good and this form looks so dull and very simple so uh, by the user experience. So we have to design that user can also be uh, interact with this form by filling the, their details in that form in a power pages platform. So let's move to the edit code. So we have go this and let me click on edit code and open visual studio code. And here you can see that our home web page can be uh, open and there is a three file that is CSS, JS and HTML. But if you want to add a custom JavaScript in forms, so there is a uh, one file, there is a basic forms and in that basic form there is a, a two form that I have already created. For now we have to design a photography challenge entry form. So here you can see there is a file name that is photography challenge entry basic form so we click on this and in this workspace in the visual studio code i have write a custom javascript using a jquery so i can write that code here so let me write a javascript code here so first we have to copy a code from my notepad so i can go here and let me copy this Ctrl plus C and after we have to paste this. So let me explain this code first. So let me explain this code. Basically the dollar sign it is specify the jQuery wrapper around the element that enables the usage of jQuery methods. And there is a another that is document dot ready function. It only run use when the page can be loaded and the JavaScript code is ready for execution. And in this there is a curly brackets and here is a, another line of code that is here you can see that it has test crba3a and underscore name it represent a logical name of the column so let me show you that how you can find that logical name from the website so I can go here and I, click, I can inspect and here you can see that there is a id that there is a crb3a dash underscore name that is the logical name of the column and if you target that column so we use hashtags that is from the id and here you can say dot attribute it specify or we can say it is set the placeholder that is name and the placeholder that is attribute and name is a value and let me show you that there is a changes in the website from so we have to control plus s you can see they are saving the file. Let me preview this changes in the website. So let's move to the design studio. We click on sync. And let me preview this. So here you can see a placeholder name value can be set in the photographer name that we triggered for by the ID. So here I can type anything. It can be disappear automatically. So let me add a placeholder in email address field and photo title field. So let's we move to the visual studio board. 
so I can go here and let me first copy a code from my notepad so I can go here and let me select this sorry it can be select this control plus C and let me paste this here that is control plus V and here you can see that I can write a logical name of email address field and there is a placeholder value it can be email and there is a logical name of the photo title field and their placeholder value is title so we have to control plus save and let me sync this after that and let me preview this so here you can see email address placeholder and photo title placeholder can be shown here so here is a question arise that why do you need add a custom javascript if we have a css to style that form basically it mo more complicated because in power pages it already generated class their class names if you have to click on this button and you can inspect so here you can see there is a already generated CSS in Power Pages platform. Let me scroll down. Here you can see. So if you have to design, it more, makes more complicated to find a particular CSS, their area labels and their ID to trigger that. So we have to use JavaScript and directly implement it in a basic form and that CSS can be override by JavaScript. CSS that we added in a basis basic form in a visual studio code So I hope you understand that why do you need that we use uh, Add our custom JavaScript in basic form using a power pages platform and not use uh, CSS in power pages platform it makes more complicated for making the changes in a styling after placing placeholder in an email address and phone title, let's we design or we can say let have some creativity in submit button in a form using custom JavaScript in Power Pages platform. So let's we move to the Visual Studio Code and let me first a copy a code from a notepad so I can go here and there is a Control Plus C and let me paste it here. So let me explain this code before to see the changes in our website. So let me explain this code first. So here you can see there is an ID and I can target the button by using their ID that is insert button. So I can show you that how you can find that ID. So let me go here in a home and let me inspect this. And in there is a button, there is an ID that is insert button. So I can style that button by using the ID in using the JavaScript code. So let me go here. And in this, that there is a dot CSS and it returns the one or more style property for the selected element. And after that, there is a number of CSS that, it, that I can add in a button that is font family border radius background of the button or we can say width of the button height of the button and there is a flex string it means that the element or we can say button will not shrink and it will retain the original width of the button so we have to save this so i can control plus s and let me move to the design studio let me sync this and let me preview this also. Let me cross this. Let me preview this again. So here you can see a button looks more attractive and beautiful by adding a custom JavaScript in a form. So after designing the button, we have to design a form also. So let's move to the Visual Studio Code. So first I have to copy a custom JavaScript from, from my notepad so I can go here and I can select this and let me control plus C and after I have to paste this code. So let me explain this code first. So here you can see I can target the form by the ID and let me show you that how I can find that ID in our website. So I can go in a website and let me inspect this. So here you can see there is an ID that is anti 
form panel and there is a class of the form that is CRM entity form entity form view. For now, I can target the form by using ID in a form. So I can go here and there is a dot CSS and it only returns the CSS property or for more style property for the selected item. So I can add some CSS like maximum width that is 400 pixel. I can give some margin also or uh, there is a padding border radius that and it can be solid that can be color I, I can add it there is a border radius also and I can also add a box shadow so let's see see the changes in the website so I can control plus s and we go here now we have to sync this and let me preview this So here you can see our form looks so good and we have added some CSS in form and here you can see some changes in the website also. Thank you for choosing Knowhow Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you navigate the tech world. If you have any question, don't hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.